Philip, we're going to pick your dream five-a-side team based on players you've played with in your career, OK? OK, let's try. Now, this is hard because you've played with a lot of amazing players, haven't you? Yeah, it's very hard for me because I played with some great players. OK, firstly, what formation would you play? One goalkeeper, no? Yeah. And one defender, one midfielder and two attackers. Ooh, yeah. very, very yeah, attacking yeah, team. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> We need to score goals, no? <laughs> and also, you've played with some amazing strikers. Yes, yeah, played, yeah. Okay, goalkeeper, who did you pick? I pick Julius Cesar. Yep. Because when I arrived in Inter Milan, in this moment, he for me was the best keeper, and he did great for Inter Milan. Is he one of the, one of the best keepers you've ever played with? Yes. Was he quite an influential figure because he's a senior member of the team when you when you were there? Was he one of the people that helped you off the field as well? Julio? Julio yeah. said? Yes, for sure, because I, arri I arrived there so young and, you know, was difficult to be a long way from my family and friends and for sure he, he was one of the guys who helped me. And what was his best attributes as a goalie? Shot stopping or coming from corners did he have? Yeah, I think he's very quick, very quick with uh, the movement and he also is very good with feet and he's, he was a top goalkeeper in this moment. Okay, so here's your keeper. Yeah. Defender, you've only got one defender to only pick. Defender. This is tough. <laughs> Lucio. Lucio, yeah. yeah. Lucio uh, as well. When I arrived there was I think maybe in his best moment and they won everything in this year and he was great. Lucio is a very tough defender, wasn't he? Very strong. Very tough, yeah. Did he train as hard as he played? Yes. And he's he's a really nice guy, but when he arrived in the dressing room for the game, he trained everything. You cannot talk with him because he's very focused on the game. Really? Yeah. So you wouldn't be allowed to speak to him? He just no, you can, but you see he's very ser serious and you say maybe it's not <laughs> time to speak. <laughs> okay. Is he very competitive as well? Hates losing? Yes, very. Okay. So uh, a lot of defenders. You play with Jamie Carragher as well? Yes. What was he like as a defender? A top defender as well, yeah. I played with him uh, not long time, but yeah, yes, he was top, yeah. And someone else who's very competitive, yes. doesn't like losing. Similar with Lucio, yeah. Similar, okay. Midfielders, this is going to be tough. You only have one midfielder. Only one. Okay, yeah, who'd you Stevie, pick? Stevie G. Stevie G. Gerrard, yeah, yeah, okay. That was easy <laughs> to pick. Uh, again, one of the best I played. Uh, I learned a lot of, from him. Uh, and also when I arrived here, uh, it was like a dream to play with him, the guy uh, I used to watch in Brazil, I used to play in PlayStation and play together with him. Oh, you played at Steven Gerrard on the PlayStation? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Did you tell him that? No, I didn't <laughs> tell him. <laughs> because my English is not very good, okay. it's getting better maybe now. But yeah, Steve G is the best midfielder. He's the best midfielder you've ever played with? Yes. You said that you knew a lot about him before you came to England. Was he even better than you thought he was when you were playing with him? Much better. Uh, of course, he was an idol for, for me and for everyone who watched him playing. But when we were together in the dressing room, you can see he, him training. It's different. Uh, it's better, even better. So. He, he's great in everything, passing, shooting, yeah. defending. He scored some amazing he's goals in his oh, career. Lots of goals. He's and a big leader as well in the yeah. dressing room. For yeah. Sure, yeah. Okay, this is tough. Two strikers that you've so, played with in your career. Neymar? Yeah, I thought you'd say Neymar. <laughs> <laughs> not a bad player, is he? <laughs> not a bad player. <laughs> Again, he's one of the best now in the world. and and. I played with him uh, many times because we used to go together in the national team yeah. on the 15, 16, 17. So he always was, was different. 
Do you think he will go on to win the Ballon d'Or one day? Yes. You do? Yeah, for sure. It's coming, I think. You think yeah. it's coming. What's he like to play with? Is, is he the best technical player you've ever played with in terms of skills? Yes, and, yes. Yeah. yeah. What, what's he like he's, to train with? He's very skillful. And, you know, in training, you see there is no space, maybe five players against him, and yeah. he do one movement, and then, and then you see maybe it's easy to do this, <laughs> but it's not easy. And he likes to not make players yes, as well? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> if you come quickly, he not make you. Has he not make you in training? <laughs> no. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, one other striker you've got? Suarez. Yeah. He's a top player, I think. Maybe in the word I uh, use is, is a killer. In killer. Killer. Yeah. In front of the goal. In he, front of the goal. Yeah. yeah. He don't miss. If he has a chance, he's goal. In terms of all the, because you have played with some amazing strikers, Mane, Firmino, Salah, yeah. Suarez, Balotelli, Milito. Is he the best in front of goal, you think? Yes. One on one with the keeper? Yes. And yes, like you said, I played with a lot, uh, but for sure he's. I think he's the best one uh, because of that. In front of the goal, he don't miss, and also he fights a lot. And yeah, that's great. What's he like off the field as a person? What is he like? Really nice. Yeah, family guy. He also helped me a lot when I arrived here in Liverpool, and he's really nice. He likes to be with his family, his children, and these things. Okay, it's a very good team. Who is your captain of that team? The captain, Steve G. Steve G. <laughs> why, why is he the captain? Because he's the leader. He's the leader. Yeah. yeah okay, he leader. might be watching, so you want to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, manager, you've obviously played with a lot of good managers as well. You yes. get to pick one manager. Uh, I think Tite. Brazilian Cheech. coach. Yeah. Yes. Yes, he's, he's great. He's doing great from Brazil and for sure one of the best. I. Uh, who coached me and I, I learned a lot from him. Yeah, and the Brazilian squad now is, a, is very good. Going into Russia 2018, you must be very confident going into that tournament. Is, the, is the, the aim to, do you think you can go all the way in that tournament and win the competition? Yes, we, we have to have the hope and uh, you know, yeah, Brazil is doing great now. Uh, we recoup recuperate, recuperate, yeah, recuperate the confidence from the from the uh, the Brazilian fans, uh, and for sure we look forward for for the World Cup. Uh, we know there is some months until the World Cup, but. We have to, to do well in the clubs to, to be there. Yeah. And just lastly, you have your team, you have your manager and your captain. You have a super sub in case in case someone <laughs> is not playing well or gets injured. Do you have one player on the bench? Oh, it's difficult to pick one. Maybe Wesley Schneider. Schneider? Yeah, Schneider. What was he like to play with? He, he also could be in the five, but yeah, you know, it's difficult, but... He, he was amazing. When I arrived there in Inter Milan, the movement he do, the technique he has with the ball is incredible. Philippe, thank you for your time. Thank you. Good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you very much. Thank you.